Hi, today we'll be looking at connecting your Connect Smart Home devices to the Google Home app. Now the Google Home app is mainly used for controlling your Google Assistant speaker for voice controlling your smart devices. Okay, so you'll need a couple of things. You'll need the Google Home app and the Connect Smart Home app. Now you should already have a Connect Smart Home app set up on your device with some smart home devices already set up. Uh, check out our other videos for how to do that for specific devices if you need help. Okay, so after you've already set up your devices, you're going to need your uh, account login. So this is the email address that you log into your Connect Smart Home. Okay, now with the Google account, you will need a Google account um, such as a Gmail account. Okay, so downloading the app from the Play Store requires a Google account, so you can use that one. Uh, so after you've set that up, please log in with that. Now what you'll need to do is link your Connect Smart Home app to the Google app. So that's what I'll show you now. So go, go into the Google app and in the bottom right hand corner you want to click this little icon here. Now over here you will want to set up or add. Okay, so from here we select set up a device and then we choose have something already set up. Okay, so from here you can see there's a wealth of uh, smart device apps that you can add or link. So we'll just go down to C or connect smart home and just select that. Okay, so here is where you would type your Connect Smart Home uh, email address. So the one I showed you earlier, I'll just type that in. Okay, so after typing that in and your password, just select link now. Now it will ask you which app that you want to link. So we just select Connect Smart Home, link now. And then just select authorize. So it's linking the two accounts together and that's done. Okay, so once that's done, we can go back to the home page over here. And we should now see the devices that we had in our Google account come up. Now, as you can see here, we've got a kitchen switch. Now, if we go back to the Connect Smart Home, you'll see that there's two devices actually added to the Smart Home but only one in the um, Google Home app. Now the Google Home app does have limited functionality in detecting some devices, so that's the reason for that. So you will find that this one is appearing, but that one isn't. But that doesn't mean you can't control this one as well. So I'll just show you how to do that now. Now what you wanna do is set up um, what we call scenes or automations. To set up a scene or an automation, we just go to Smart. And then we'll select add a scenario. Now this device here, let's go back to home, Yogi is what I have here. Okay, so it's this little smart switch. So as you can see, it's got a blue light that's currently on. Now if I go into that and just select socket is on and just turn it off, you'll see that the blue light's gone to red. What we want to do now is enable voice control, so we can go to Smart and go back to adding a scenario. Now what we want to do here is give this uh, command a name. You can call it whatever you like, but we'll keep it simple. So we'll just say Yogi on. Okay, and we click save. Now what action do we want Yogi to perform when we when we activate this scene. Okay, so we select device. We select which device we want to use. So that's Yogi. And what do we want to do? We want to turn the switch on. Okay, and we select save. So you can see there's some other functions here that will uh, that you can select from, but for the time being, we just want on. So we just select on and then go next. 
Right, so now that's done. So we just click save. So as you can see now that that command has been added and we'll just execute. So we can see that command now works. Uh, also on our home page, we'll have the same thing. So we can turn that on from there. That's only an on function. So at the moment I can't turn it off uh, unless I go in here and turn it off that way. Or I can add another automation or scene. So we'll go there and click the plus icon back to here. Now we want to name it Yogi Off. Click save. What action do we want to perform? Select the device, select Yogi, the switch, and off. And then save. Okay, and then next. Now that's been added. So show on home page, we've got that selected, all done. Save. Okay, so now we've got Yogi off and Yogi on added to our home page. Okay, so as you can see here, when I select Yogi off, the light turned red. Now that's done. Okay, so we've got our automation or scene set up from the Connect Home side. Okay, so let's go to the Google Home app from here. We just double tap back to exit out. Now we go into the Google Home app. Now it's important that we refresh the Google Home on a regular basis. Now to simply do that, we just swipe down. As you can see, the refresh icon there. Okay, so once that's done, it's refreshed. Now if you find it's not refreshing, or the devices aren't appearing for some reason, you probably have to clear the cache. So to do that, you just want to go into Settings, Apps, and then you find the app that you want to clear the cache of. So in this case, I think it's called Home. Okay, so that's Google Home. Now we want to just force a stop. So this actually stops the app running in the background. And um, basically when you load the app up, it will be like it's loading up for the first time. So refreshing properly so we'll just do that now so we go to routine so this is basically the same as the automation or the scenarios that we set up in the connect smart home so we select routines so we want to play routines on this device so make sure that's selected and then we select manage routines okay so from here we want to select add a routine Okay, now basically what this here add commands is what you want to say to your Google Assistant speaker for the command to execute. So for this one we want to say turn Yogi on. Okay, so we select OK. Now that is the command you'll need to actually say. Now what action do we want to perform when we say that command? So we add action and we go to browse popular actions. And then we just, so you've got a lot of options here. So for our purposes, we adjust the scene and we select settings. Now we should have our device pop up here. Okay. So it is communicating to the Connect Smart Home app. That's why you're seeing these devices coming up here. Okay. So if you find that your device isn't coming up here, make sure to refresh like I showed you earlier. So we want to execute Yogi on scene that we set up in the Connect Smart Home. Now that's all done, we just select Add and then Save. Okay, so we see here that we've got one routine set up. Okay, you can see there the custom routine. So we want to add another one. Okay, so we go back in there, Add Routine. And then we want to put turn yogi off. Okay, so we just select OK. Add action. Browse popular actions, scenes, settings, yogi off. And add. 
and save. Okay, now that's done. Now normally to perform your uh, commands you will uh, press this button or just say OK Google is the words that you want to normally use. I don't want to say it too loud because it might actually trigger something so we'll just go ahead and press this speaker here. By pressing this we don't need to say the OK part of it. Okay so we'll just go ahead and do that. Turn Yogi on. Okay so as you can see that light turned on to blue. Now we want to turn it off. Turn Yogi off. Okay, now that's turned off. So that's it guys. That's how you can basically use your Google Assistant speaker to control your Connect Smart Home devices. Okay, and that concludes our video. So uh, we'll catch you next time. Take care.